What's up guys and welcome back to my garage. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. I know I say that in nearly every intro, but I really do mean it. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you're dropping a like. Make sure you're subscribing as well if you haven't done so already. But in the previous episode, we finally helped the El Camino reach its final form. And it's got a beautiful... Why is the door not working? Um, Hello? This side works. Yo, what? Okay, there we go. Not sure why that happened, but it has a beautiful red leather interior now. It's looking very, very nice. But the game plan for today, obviously we have $48,000. So we are super, super close to being able to purchase this garage extension. So that's going to be the plan for today. But of course... I don't want to just make $50,000 and then have $0 left over after we purchase that extension. So we're going to make our way over to the dealership. And uh, I don't know if we're going to find just one vehicle to do a quick rust repair or preferably all three of these vehicles. That would be that would be the ideal scenario. So let's see what we've got. It's like the game knows that I am just in love with these El Caminos. This one has the slant six. This uh, mustard yellow actually has a V8 in it. That thing isn't going anywhere. That's not moving whatsoever, dude. That thing is shot. Overall condition, three stars. Okay, but 16, call it 16 and a half thousand dollars for that one. 12 and a half thousand for this one. And then we have a lad coupe, drop top coupe for 7,800 bones. Rust condition, four stars. Uh, four stars on that one, and then probably four stars on this one as well. It's going to be quite a bit of work, uh, but I think the easiest thing for us to do is actually just purchase all three of them, and then I'm going to I'm gonna walk the angle grinder on over here. I'm not even going to try to bring any of these vehicles back to the shop, and uh, we're just going to do the rust repair out here in the parking lot of the dealership, because... Why the heck not, right? After purchasing all three of these, though, we only have eleven and a half thousand dollars left. So we really, we really can't afford to put much more money into it. Really, it's gonna, it's gonna do that to me. It's gonna make it so I can't even clean up this rocker. Okay, I can do the back half though. Maybe if I stand more here. There we go. Let's try maybe the top of the rocker. There's just a tiny bit more that it wants us to get rid of. Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's just quickly make sure there isn't any more in that uh, in that door. Looks good. Make our way around the vehicle so we can tackle all the rest. Okay, that was super easy. And up there, same deal. All right, how are we looking now? Rust condition, five stars. That is all we needed to do. Moving on to the multicolor one over here, sort of the the Joker colored vehicle. We had quite a bit up there. Let's make our way. Oh, dude, this thing has some major suspension issues. How did I not notice the lean, dude? It's got the the gangster lean going on here. Let's drop that. Let's see if I can't put myself up into the bed. Alrighty, that takes care of that. And then for this one, for whatever reason, if you're in the in the bed of the El Camino, it doesn't actually let you get at this. Ooh. And neither neither does leaning over the edge here. Okay, we got that little bit though. There we go. We just have to get closer. Now working our way back up to the front of the vehicle, just making sure there's no rust anywhere else. Let's check in on the rust condition. Five stars, baby. That's what we like to see. I don't even know if we really need to go through respraying these. It would increase the value. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. See what sort of rust we have over here. Got a little bit there on that, um, I guess, windshield wiper cowl. Work our way around to the backside. Got a little bit on this rear bumper. And I think that's, oh, almost it. Got a little bit there on the hood as well. All right, rust condition four stars. So we are missing some somewhere. Oh, I think I just spotted it. On like the, the drop top lid, we'll call it. 
right in there. All right. How we doing now? Five stars, baby. I think just to make sure we are maximizing our profits, I think I will try to get all the all the spray paint cans for all three of these vehicles. So instead of trying to remember these color codes, I'm going to write them down. Now then, I'm hoping that just one can of each of these colors is going to be enough. But first up, we had 223F2A. It's a green. Surprise, surprise. We have next 8ADA56. That is yet another green. And then the last one's going to be the yellow 998C17. There we go. Kind of that mustard yellow. Can we put these in our bag? We can. Good deal. I was kind of thinking I was going to have to carry these over one by one. So that works out. Thanks to my ACDC, for whatever reason, all the all the spray paint cans just have to be placed on the hood of each vehicle. And check out what I just discovered. If you leave it on the hood and then open the hood, it acts like a catapult, dude. It actually launches the, uh, the spray paint up and over the vehicle. Not super crazy, but um, kind of cool. So let's start here with the Joker vehicle, just because it's got that um, sort of purpley pink with the lime green. Very Joker inspired, in my opinion. Just got to get that little bit. Headlight bezels as well. I was called these, I was referred to these as a headlight bezel, but maybe one of you will know if there's a, a better term for that. There we go, that seems pretty good. Next over here, that's where a good majority of our sanding was. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't realize that the quarter panel and the door also were different colors. So we might actually have to uh, go back to the store to get another can of this lime green. But that's all right. You know what? We've we've got time. Okay, something something weird is definitely definitely happening today first with the door that i couldn't open okay these doors are still working i was just trying to carry my i was trying to be a good person you know carry my empty spray paint can over to the dumpster and as soon as i got to this point it just dropped just completely fell out of my hand so and now i'll see what's happening there's like there's some invisible barrier right here that's not letting me pick this up this is so weird. I've never had issues picking things up before. Unsurprisingly though, we did go through that spray paint very, very quickly for the lime green. So I'm gonna grab one more of those and fingers crossed, one last can is gonna be enough to complete that vehicle. I will say I'm very, very surprised that the paint's actually sticking right now since it's kind of raining and, and the body panels would definitely be a little bit moist as they say. Color condition still four stars, so I'm guessing it has something to do with this door. That's usually usually the case. So we'll just try to use up the rest of this can. Check in with it again. There we go. That's what we needed. All right, I'll uh, I'll wait to the very end to actually sell these vehicles off. But the uh, the Joker vehicle is no longer a Joker vehicle. Let's move on over here to the dark green drop top lad. We've got some some more green, surprise, surprise. There we go, five star rust and color condition for that one. Oh, you know what? When we sell these vehicles, these cans are just gonna like fall on the ground. So I'll put those in the backpack. That way we're, we're not littering. As I said before, we're, we're trying to be a good person, you know? Touch that up, a little bit on that door. Any different colored panels on this one? I guess not. We do have a bit more rust right there, but the rust condition is five stars, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust the, the star system on that. That should be it. Five star rust and color condition on that one. Let's once again toss that into the bag. Alrighty. Go through and sell these things. 18.9 thousand buckaroonies on that. So that puts us back up to 30k. This one, 18K on the nose, just about. Puts us back up to 48,000. And last but certainly not least, almost 12,500 for the drop top lad. That is 60K, dudes and dudettes. That brings us to 60,000 big ones. I do really want to purchase that garage extension. However, I kind of don't want it to be raining anymore. There we go. 
That's better. You know what? We need daytime, though, as well. 2 a.m., a little bit longer. 6.30 a.m., we'll head across the streets, grab some food, grab some water, and now it's snowing. It's fine. It's fine. At least snow is silent, right? It's the, it's the rain that's the annoyance. So, before we go ahead and purchase that extension, I'm just gonna push the Elko out into the driveway. That should be fine. And I just want to make sure that we don't have really anything in the way. Do we have to move the dumpster? Does it say anything? Clear the area before ordering. I would assume we're, we're meant to actually move that thing. So let's grab our move tool. A lot of you have told me, I, I didn't even realize this, but we can use the move tool, allegedly, to also move the car lift. I'm not going to mess with it. I, I like its current location. But we should be able to grab this guy. And just move him around back. Just before we go ahead and pull the trigger on this, I'm going to quick save in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. And uh, we can go ahead and purchase the extension, dude. Check that out. And we have a back door now. Excellent. Okay, yeah, had we not moved the dumpster, that would have definitely caused some issues. We do have a little bit of snow inside just because it is snowing right now. But uh, I'm not super concerned about that. Let's get the garage. Wait, what? That's retractable? Yo, that's insane. I was just trying to open the garage door, dude. That is next level. Honestly, I was a bit concerned about having a big open pit, you know, in, in the middle of our garage floor. So that's that's excellent. I was just going to try to buy, like, some, some plywood or something. I think there's a sheet of plywood over at the store that you can actually purchase. And I was just going to sort of cover this this pit with some plywood, but that works out. I like that so much more. Okay, so let's see. Can we get a second lift from somewhere? Eventually, that would be actually really, really helpful. Um, for right now, we're probably limited to the one, but let me know. If you guys know if, if there's a possibility of getting a secondary lift, that would be super, super cool. All right, dude. I love it. I love it. Check it Check it out from the outside, too. So much more room for activities. And then around back. Oh, we should probably get that dumpster moved. I'm going to put the dumpster maybe on the back side of this wall. Just so we still don't have to, like, leave our, our garage to actually throw things out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, dude. It says, for any or any other furniture, use the move tool purchasable in the store. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. And to be honest, that's really all I had planned for today. So let's go ahead and hop on this motorcycle for the very first time since we've actually completed the thing. We've got to get that kickstand down somehow, though, so we can actually get it upright. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. All right. Probably not a super good idea. Oh, it doesn't have any fuel in it, does it? That's fine. You know what? That's okay, because we've got a jerry can. Thankfully, we did just fill up the, the jerry can very recently for our first attempt at going out to the upholstery shop. So I'm just going to stand here. It says it's filling, so I'm going to trust the text at the bottom of the screen. Grab our cap. Get that placed back on the fuel tank. All right, guys, this time for sure. Okay, this time for sure. Got to get rid of that kickstand. I really hope this thing starts. There we go. Excellent. All right, let's go tear it up in the snow. Again, like I, like I started saying, it's probably the worst time to do this because it is snowing. But I just want to hear, first of all, how this thing sounds. And second of all, if it's, if it's any good. It doesn't... Okay, it's got, it's got five gears, five speeds. That's kind of cool. But it doesn't sound super great, I will admit. But I still love the thing, dude. This is an excellent, excellent machine. And the snow doesn't really seem to make much of a difference at all. Okay, it is still snowing out here, though. Let's bust a Yui. Can we do third person? Ooh, look at that. We are literally ghost riding the whip right now, you guys. The people we're passing right now are probably so confused because there's nobody on this bike. Also, are there actual 
There's actual people behind the wheel? Really? Since when, dude? I feel like... I feel like I remember the vehicles just always being piloted by no one. Or, or driven by no one. Unless that's a recent change. I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. Our maiden voyage now on our very, very cool motorcycle. Where's our kill switch? This side? There we go. All right, that was cool, dude. Okay, and it just falls over again. I'm gonna leave this connected to the stand just because then it's less likely to actually fall over on us and it'll kind of just be a display piece in our garage now. If I ended this episode out here, it would easily be the shortest recording I've ever done in my garage. So instead, I'm curious to see what our customer work would entail. Can you change all worn suspension parts? Maybe we skip that one, see what else we've got. Engine chain seems to be a problem. You know what? Let's just buy some more vehicles. Why are we not buying more vehicles, dude? That's that's an easy money maker. We've got 10,000, nearly $11,000 to our name. So surely, surely we'll be able to buy at least one vehicle. We've got a four-door wolf right here. I actually just found out the other day there's also a wagon wolf model that I'm pretty sure you can only actually obtain from the junkyard. So that would definitely be a, uh, a future project. 100%. But that wolf is probably too expensive for us. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. 8500 bucks for the four-door lad right there. And 18 almost $19,000 for that guy. Yep, I'm I'm not I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother, dude. This is it. Wait, it's it's already got five-star rust though. If I resprayed it, if I resprayed it, we might be able to make a tiny bit of profit off of it since these are the only three vehicles available at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and do it. We've pretty much bought it sight unseen because I didn't even I didn't even pop the hood to see if it would run. Ignition wires are looking a bit weak, but that transmission looks brand spanking new, dude. We got a chrome boy in there. Let's see if it'll turn over. Please start. Otherwise, I'm going to have to respray the whole thing over here in the parking lot. Wow, that is earth-shatteringly loud. Oh my dude. Get me out of here. Get me the heck out of here, dude. I, the engine note, like the, the tone of that was just so bass heavy. I think I, I think I honestly blew out my eardrums. I'll, I'll be real with you. So, uh, what color should we respray it? We've done a lot of greens in the past. Lots and lots of greens. Not too many blues, though. That could be a good color for this. Maybe like a, a lighter blue. That's it. That's the one right there, you guys. That is the one. I also want to see what the paint pen looks like. And also what it does. Because I, I still haven't even used it. I see. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to finish. I'm not going to finish it, you guys. Psych! <laughs> Gotta do it! <laughs> Gotta do it! Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. I'm going to get in too much trouble using those things. And uh, we'll just grab our single can of spray paint and we'll get after it hopefully we can just cover that right up that looks much better Alrighty, well that's one can down we are making good progress it looks like i missed a little spot right there oh we also have to change the um the like color code on the vehicle itself so it's zero zero b zero ff that's pretty easy to remember Let's just come right over here and, uh, and tackle that really quick. Zero, zero, B, zero, FF. After he says, oh, that's easy to remember. Okay, change color. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get that hood shut. And we'll, uh, we'll keep going here. Can number two has finally run dry. So we're now on to can number three. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can probably get this thing done in... Maybe four cans, tops, because we do still have to do, like, the the inside of the doors and things. Oh, and what about the rims? Can we just spray? Yeah, we can just spray those straight up. I'm actually going to respray those all black. I think that would look a little bit nicer. 
I'm not really a big fan, you know, when they when they color match the rims to the vehicle. I just think it looks kind of weird. Okay, doors complete. We do still have a little bit of paint left in that can. Color condition, still four stars. I mean, I might be blind. Maybe they're considering the rims to also be a part of the color condition. Maybe. So I'm gonna use whatever paint I have left here. And we'll try to we'll try to respray the rims, even though I already said I don't really care for this look. If that's what the game wants, I'll I'll do it. Well, our fourth can is now empty, so I'm thinking that's probably good enough. I've been all around up and down this vehicle, and I can't find any panel that isn't the same shade of blue. So I think that'll have to do it. Honestly, 9,500 bucks. Once again, I have absolutely no recollection of what we actually paid for the vehicle. So let's just go ahead and sell it off. We made about $1,000. That's, that's not that bad. It's not that great, but it's not that bad either. And I think probably just to wind things down, let's go ahead and accept the engine chain job. Some parts are damaged. We're going to get $748. Oh, it's a wolf. $748 for this repair. Just lean in here real quick and see if there's anything that we can see. We do have a very rusty chain in there. Dude, that's a that's a super easy job. Super easy job. Now, just because the chain's rusty, that it, it should still start, right? Just gotta find the key on this thing. Is it a DZ? Oh. Oh, maybe it, maybe it won't start. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the ignition completely so we don't drain the battery. Is it a DZ though? It is, three liter DZ, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's pop the hood then. I'll go grab my wrench. We'll get a couple of things in the engine bay loosened up and removed. Just everything we need to, to remove to actually access that, that chain and we'll get it replaced. Like I said, should be pretty straightforward. Had to make a quick tool swapperoo here. Get the pry tool out so we could actually remove the chain. Got to reach in here from the top side. Grab that chain. And this is immediately going in the dumpster. Back in the catalog, we're currently working on a wolf with the i6DZ engine. If we click on engine and scroll down just a little bit, we should find that chain in no time. Any minute now, and there it is, $126. Hey, at least we're getting like 700 some bucks for this. That'll at least kinda, kinda make up for it. But there we go, easy as that. We've got our new chain. All we have to do now is basically everything we did before just in the reverse order. So we'll start here with this cover, get all of its bolts refastened, and we can move on to the, um, the crankshaft pulley. And lastly, we just have to get our clutch fan rebolted up as well. There we go. That ought to do it for this one. Let's click on job info and we can complete it for 748 buckaroonies. So in the next episode, you guys, I know this one's been a little bit weird. Um, in the next episode, we're going to get started on our next project vehicle. It's not going to be another El Camino, I promise. I, I swear it. Instead, we're going to be purchasing a tow rig it's gonna be kind of our like resident beater but um, we're, we're basically gonna use it just so that we can uh, haul one of those trailers over there at the store so that's the game plan for the next one but i do think i'm gonna wind things down here for today so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys peace